Don't confuse pranavritti with pranayama. Pranayama is one of the process in Ashtanga Yoga. Yama, Niyama, Asana, then the pranayama, the control of breathing pattern. So what is pranavritti? It is a process of increasing your life energy to the fullest. By doing that, what will happen? What will happen? Every disease that you feel as an incurable or irreversible can be reversed and cured. Because once you increase the life energy, the process of blood circulation and purification is going to happen to the fullest. Your body will go through a total detoxification to the fullest. And that is how pranavati is going to help you. Or to make it very, you know, precise and direct. Your heart, lungs, liver, intestine and kidney, these are working for you for 24 bar 7. So it is called as what? Sarva Seva. The life energy in every internal organ is increased to the next level. So that every disease that you presently have need to be healed and if you are already healthy, you will be healthy for the rest of the life. So Pranavirti is a process by which you increase the life energy to your internal organs and to your endocrine system and to your nervous system. And many people have got a fear that I have a genetic disorder which is given by my parent. I am telling you the secret. There are only five things which can be transferred through your gene or by your parent. Romam, Sarmam, Asti, Netram and Vakyam. I will put it in English. Your air, skin, bone, eyes and voice. These are the five things which is genetically transformed. Sometimes you will feel your grandson is having exactly the same way as your nose and your eyes. Your daughter will have your grandmother's you know, features in a way she stands and she walks. These are the five things which is getting transferred from the ancestor or from the grandparents or from your parent. What are the five things? Your air, skin, bone, eyes and voice. Of course it should happen. Think that Indian is getting married to an Indian and the child is looking like a Russian. It will be a major problem at home. You can't, you know, then it will be a major problem. Luckily God has given this to every human being. Or a Russian is getting married to a Russian and they are, you know, the child is born like in somebody from South India. It's going to be a major problem in family. So luckily these five things will be there. Other than that, no disease and disorder is being transferred from your gene. The first gene of human which is created by God is always pure and divine and healthy and happy. You still possess it. Through Pranavirti, I circulate that energy in every single cell of the body. And you do it by your own self. No process of, you know, mocking or cheating or feeling or emotionally thinking that I am good. No, it is measurable. So other than this, every disease and disorder is reversible and curable. Nothing is incurable. But you need to practice Pranavirti by your own self. Is it not very simple? If you want your biceps to be bigger, I cannot have a servant to do the you know, dumbbell exercise. If I want my chest to be bigger, I cannot appoint a servant to take the push-ups. So in any healing process, if you are having someone to do for you, they are saying like, I am doing this, I am doing that. Okay. For that you need to get into sickness or illness so that they can come and heal you. I am talking about on the next level. You will never fall sick. For that you need to have that energy and strength within your body. And to get that strength and energy to the different level, to make sure that you will not feel illness or sickness for the rest of the life, you need to have your life energy circulating in every single cell of your blood, brain and body. And this process of increasing your life energy, prana, virti, increasing this life energy to the multiple fold, or increasing the circulation of the life energy to the fullest is called pranavirti. Why should I do that? These are all benefits which you must be knowing that so many people, so many doctors have started writing about it. Cancer is getting healed, PCOD problem and more of a you know, lung problem. All this is fine. I am not here to talk about the benefit. But why should I do that? I am telling you, you should do this for one simple reason. Everybody when I train corporate or even on the common thing, we call ourselves as human resource. No, we all belong to human race. We are not human resource. Resource is a source which can be utilized to progress or to improve or enhance from the present level. If you are not having a good health, you will not be a human resource. You will be a human resistance. Which means you will be the very source to delay your progress or you will be a very source to experience failure in your life. I'll try to put it in English. 
all that they are trying to say 7000 years before in a very simple and profound meaning sariram adu seri indri yachayil seidalum man gudrai nambi aatril irangiya nilai un vaalvil nilai what is it trying to say without the good health in this physical body anything that you do even though with the right intention it is like stepping into the river to cross the river bank using a oars made out of clay the very moment you will not finish or you know that you cannot finish because the oars made out of clay will dissolve in the water that's the same situation in your life you may have the right intention you may have the right knowledge but you will not finish what you have started you will be stuck in the middle you will be stuck in the middle so please understand you need to practice this not for me or not for others but for your own self because without a good health you will be the very source of resistance for your own self from now you're not going to be resistance for yourself or for others you're going to be a resource for everybody i tell all my atmi yogi members you should never be a liability you should be an asset to yourself and for others and i promise you will never be a liability to anybody you will be an asset for yourself and for others at any given point of time aham brahmashma